Hello, friends. Welcome back to Mustak. In today's session, we are going to, you know, uh, discuss one more important use case where, let's say, you have a Mueller ten standalone, okay, and you want to deploy your Mueller applications, okay, with the help of Maven, okay. So, what all steps we need to do, we are going to discuss. First of all, I ask you to please subscribe the channel if you are not done so, and share with your friends, okay. Hit the bell icon so that you'll get notification to your you know, to you uh, for incoming new <coughs> videos. Okay, so let's jump on to the AnyPod Studio first. Okay, so I'll do a simple, I'll create a simple flow here. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a simple flow. So let's say Maven standalone <coughs> deploy. Okay. So here I'll create a simple empty project and we'll add listener, simple listener, and I'll add the set payload activity over here. Okay. And go to listener and set payload. I'll just say Navin deployment demo. So I'll add here a listener configuration. So I'll, I'm already running one application on its rate room. So I'll just change port here and I'll save it, okay. Okay, so this is my application now. So to automate your deployment via Maven, we need to make a change to our form. That is the first change we'll be doing over here. Okay, so first go to your Mule Maven plugin here. Okay, go here. Now here, you need to add the code. So let me copy this. This code will be available on Mule documentation also. You don't need to mock up anything. But few things we need to take care of here. Control this. So you need to provide the Mule version of your Mule runtime standalone. That is my standalone is running right now on 4.4.0. Okay. Then next thing you need to give the, you know, Mule home. Okay. So Mule home, it is available in my, so let me copy that. You can go here. So I have created one server called Pushpa and this is my Mule home. Okay. So this is the new home. Please make sure that you are not copying till bean or any other folder. Go ahead and copy this. So let's go to the any point studio. Press that path over here, control D. That's it. So from your project point of view, your changes are done. So you have added the configuration here inside the Mule Maven plugin. Now we need to start this server as a windows service okay so go to the bin directory from here start the command line go to the command line and start your mule runtime you know as a windows service so you can say mule and say install okay i have already started then you can say second command mule start okay then it will start your mule as a Windows service. You can keep on checking the status. You can go ahead and check the status, whether your new running is, new runtime is running or not. Okay. So you can see that it start type automatic and running is yes. Okay. And you can clearly see that your new home set to this directory. Okay. So now your service, your new runtime is running as a service now, Windows service. Let's go ahead to the command line now. So let's go to your project, start command line, go to properties. You can go to the root directory of your project and start command line from here. Okay. And MVN. Okay. This is the command clean package deploy minus D, mule, 
deploy okay so before that let me check what all is running inside my server standalone server so if you see right now one app is running over here hello world app okay once my deployment is successfully done here you will see one more app which is you know will be running on 8082 so let's go ahead and say it will take some time so deployment is done you can see that deployment being successful and you can see that new application which is maven standalone deployment you know it's running over here let's see let's go to the the postman and try to trigger it okay i'll go ahead and say http colon slash slash localhost and this queue <clears throat> Maven demo that was my resource path. No listener. Let me check quickly what is the listener we have used here. I think we have used 8084, 8082, not 8081. You can see that our application is deployed successfully. So let me recap what we have done. So we have started our new runtime standard server in, in Windows service. Okay. And then we have configured pom.xml. We have given the path, our view home path and version. That's it. Okay. And then from the command line, we run the command, simple command, okay, to deploy your application to a standard server. That's it from this session. Okay. Hope you liked it. Please click the bell icon so that you get you know, notification for you know coming new videos. See you in the new videos. Thank you. Bye bye.